Dun, 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 dun. NCAA 06. What's up, everyone? This is NCAA Football 06, like I just told you. We're in the blue field today. This is Nog TV, and I am Dallas. Dallas. But we're in Boys, Idaho. Yeah. On the blue field. Blue turf today. Big game right here. We really need some wins. We need to start stacking them up. Not just one or two, like several. Like if we can rattle off several in a row, that would be nice. Uh, they are three and one. We are one and or two and four. So we, yeah, we desperately need some wins because we gotta get to six to be ball eligible, and we only have six games left. This is the. Are we one and four or two and four? I think this is game six. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Anyways, either way, regardless of what game it is, we are going to get underway on the blue turf. First time on the... Holy cow. Did that say 16 mile an hour wind? I don't know. I thought that looked like it said 16 mile an hour wind. If so, that would have been crazy. Anyways, yeah. It might be a little hard to see them because they got blue jerseys on the blue turf. They didn't think that one through. Should have used orange. I don't know. I think everyone can say the blue turf has always been something cool it's like one of the more unique parts of college football let's not ever get rid of it even though they've said multiple there's always been rumors and like people saying like i know growing up the big thing was like oh they're getting rid of the turf because birds keep flying in the field because i think it's water i don't know if that's true i would think birds could be able to tell the difference between water and bluegrass i guess this would be perfect for bluegrass music you know maybe they really like bluegrass over here in boise it's weird because of all the places that could use blue turf. Oh, 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 no, not this crap again. Oh, why did that work so well? Why is their quarterback so elusive? This is a Bransky. Is he, was he the guy that was on the cover? I think he, I think he's the guy that's on the cover of like NCAA 08, if I'm not mistaken. Which was a weird, yeah, it's weird that they have a Boise State guy on there and that nobody really knows who he is. But apparently he was a big deal around these par around these parts. Uh, no, I didn't want audible, but okay. I accidentally pressed that. That was an accident. Get him, get him. Come on now. This defense is looking soft again, guys. Oh, God. Our field is blue and yours isn't. Well, that's not fair. Nobody else's field in the NCAA. Well, in FBS is blue. I think in FCS, I want to say it's like... UC, oh, UCA has a, uh, because, you know, that's like just a couple hours away from where I'm at is uh, over in Fayetteville because that's in Conway, Arkansas. Their field is purple, but it's got some, like, gray stripes in it. Theirs is pretty cool. Theirs looks neat. And then I know, I think it's like Eastern Washington has a red field. And it's, uh, I've seen the same things where people have been like, oh, they need to take it away because... It's an issue if players start bleeding and you can't tell they can bleed on the field. And It's like players are going to bleed on a green field of turf. What are you going to do about it? You know, it's... Well, I don't see what you mean. Like, players get cut, they get bruised. It's... I don't know what your point is. Anyways, now that uh, we're about... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. They're in the red zone, guys. We need a red zone stand. The only way that I can be powered to a red zone stand... Is if you subscribe. I need your subscription powers. Yes, subscribe to me and I'll feel the energy flowing through my veins. Just like Hulk Hogan when he lifted Andre the Giant over his shoulder for a body slam in WrestleMania 3. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh guys. You're, you guys are silly. You guys are so crazy. Um, yeah, it's not looking good on this first drive. Need to send the linebackers in. Everybody's blitzing in. We need everybody's help. Oh, no. Maybe the blitz too many. Oh, how, man? You got two guys there. How? Oh, yep. Cover your ears. The cannon's blown. He threw way over there. Come on now. Come on now. Somebody's got to do their job better, boys. It's not looking good. If we lose this one, we, we're only allowed two more losses the rest of the season. And considering that we still, I think we have to play games against like Georgia and Ole Miss and uh, Auburn. 
Like, we have a couple games coming up that are, that are going to be straight up tough because they are highly ranked team, SEC teams. A couple of them are on the road. It's uh, it's going to be messy. If we don't, I think this is a must win right here. If we don't win this one, if we don't take it, uh, I, I struggled. To, oh, no, he almost broke one. Outrun that guy, and you might go all the way. I don't even want to talk about last week, guys. Last week against Alabama. That was just straight up depressing. Oh, one and four, yep. So we still need five wins. So basically over the next seven games, we including this one, we have to go at least five and two. And if we lose this one, then we gotta go six and one. So we're just making it tougher on ourselves if we lose this one. Uh let's go running back cross. <sighs> yeah, we were we were moving the ball pretty well last week, but then you know, and our defense was playing well. But then we just, uh, that last quarter really hurt us. Oh, they, I was really worried that looked low, and I thought it was going to be a pick. If that were any lower, that would have been. He, he went up for it. Gosh, that was, that was, that was scary, bro. Scary, straight scary. Oh, there you go. Good lateral. Good lateral. Oh, okay. Okay. I lost like a yard or two at the end of that because he couldn't figure out what he was doing with his body. Gosh. Good thing that uh, the crowd's not really up that much. They're not really getting crazy right now. I don't know. Maybe this isn't known for being a loud crowd. All right. Let's see what we can do. Come on now. Oh, my gosh. Idiots. He just, mm, okay. He didn't put enough juice on that. If he would have thrown a little bit harder, it would have got to him quicker. But unfortunately, there's no sort of attribute for pitch speed or, like, pitch power. He just kind of chunks it. And then it hits it hit one of the Boise State guys. Oh, come on. It's so hard to play defense, especially coverage, because you can't, like, if you touch them too much or you bump them or slightly run into them, it's pass interference. And because you can't play any sort of defense. And then if you overshoot it, they catch it and they're gone. If you don't, if you don't, uh, like, go aggressive enough and you're too conservative, you can make the catch as soon as they, or you can make the tackle as soon as they catch it. But you, you're not doing anything to prevent the catch. It's very difficult to play defense, especially against better teams when your guys are either slower or smaller. There's just not much you can do. you got to just hope to get the quarterback. And honestly, I haven't had many sacks all year because my line's not that impressive. My linebackers are supposed to be where the playmakers are at, like linebackers and safeties. But they haven't done enough to really warrant that respect so far. It's crazy to think I won my first game against a mission. Okay. I don't even know what was going on there. Why was he that wide open? I had my cornerback blitzing, but the safety was supposed to back up deep. And then uh, I had another cornerback that was supposed to be backing up into that back corner, and he didn't. Now, would he have made it there in time? No, but if he would have reacted a little bit quicker. Okay, well, not a good start. I feel like every g the first game was so intense and so crazy. And I was winning, and I was like, yo, this might be game of the year. And it probably will be because I can't match that. I just, it's hard to follow that up. All right, Washington, get a big return like you did last week. There we go. Here, keep going, keep going. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Up to, like, the 49. All right, come on now. We literally have, like, just half the field to go. Surely we can do something. Four plays, 22 yards. Come on now. We got a score here, and maybe we can figure something else out. Nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoever that was, number 10, could have caught that if he would have been paying attention. This would be so embarrassing if I can't here get good field position like this, and then I go three and out. Three and out would be terrible. Three and out, and I lose a yard on top of all that. Because my defense is not about to step up. I don't want this to be a squash. Kicks. Okay. 
Why? That's a bullet. You just floated. it. It's like when I want you to when I want you to lob it. When any time I want him to lob it, he freaking puts all the mustard on it in the world, and it's too low. And then whenever I want it to be a bullet, he just kind of lightly lofts it up in the air for it to hang around. And well, it's not that he didn't get all of it. It's the freaking wind. It's like a 25-yard punt. Golly, man, this is not looking good. If they score here, I'm already probably done. That's <sighs> This team looks dead in the water, and it's so depressing because I still have freaking half the season left. Uh, yeah, I, I still got to play six more games after this. I don't want it to be like last year. And the weird thing is, is that this team is a lot more talented than it was last year. I don't know what it is. It's like last year my defense was pretty legit, but my offense couldn't do crap. And now my offense is good most games, but my defense can't stop anyone to save their lives. Like that like look at that. They're making they're making all of these uh you know, we made Vanderbilt look like a bunch of studs. And the only team we really limited all year long was Alabama for like two or three quarters. They still ended up winning, so that was depressing. And look, he just gets through that big hole. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised that wasn't a face mask. This dude's 8 for 8, 95 yards and 2 touchdowns. I'm making him look like a Heisman candidate. Golly, man. Come on, defense, do something, please. Nope, nope, okay, okay. We held him up, and then he just went around to the other side. Come on now. Hold the line, hold the line, baby. Okay, he just kind of sidestepped everyone and got a two or three yards. If it's in the game, it's in the game. I'm not doing 4-4 four, because four, that's where they scored on me. Let's try a 3-3 three, three stack. I haven't done hardly any of that. I usually just try to do 4-3 four, uh, four, three or 3-4 three, because I feel like those are the most common ones that work. Um, oh, gosh. Do something. That's what I, I'm literally right there hitting triangle. Do something, dude. Golly, I feel like that... Four, two, five. Why do I have so many defensive packages in different like formations, and not a single one of them work consistently? Gosh. Come on, get them. Okay, nope, they're gonna score. I'm just gonna let you guys know this is this is not gonna be good. Um, my only hope is to score before the half and then get the score after the half, make it a one possession game, and maybe we can figure something out. Nope, they just, that was just straight up, they they got us. Nothing else to say about that. Look at that, I have 21 total yards, so they're 208. I have zero rushing yards. Maybe this can change. Nope, now I have negative rushing yards. I have negative three rushing yards, amazing. Thank you, team, for blocking. Y'all are a bunch of superstars. <sighs> Sorry, I made that noise. Just feeling a little upset, a little upsetty, frustrated spaghetti. Oh, chunk it. Go. Oh, 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 I thought I had it for a second. Third and 13. Now the problem is, what do I do? If I pass and don't get it, I'm literally just giving it right back to them. If I run it, I'm kind of just forfeiting. Um, I'm just going to go for a little quick pass to Howard to keep the clock running uh, and maybe get a chance at a first down. Okay. Alright, I'm used to it by now. Okay, it literally never even looked like he crossed the, the end zone or the goal line. That guy just straight up missed. Let's see. Yeah, it looked like he was held up short, but I'm not going to fight it at all because, let's face it, it's on the one-yard line. They would easily get in. Yep, this is the kind of crap I have to deal with. It's going to be 35-0 to zero at the end of the half. I'm just going to be honest, y'all aren't going to see the second half. I don't get why running backwards off his back foot, he throws a more accurate pass than my quarterback can throw standing absolutely still, no pressure. 
how that makes sense, I don't know. Yay, I got a touchdown in the last 10 seconds of the game. Ooh. Well, everyone, uh, we can only allow for one more loss. I finished up 42-7. to seven. Got a score there at the end. Kind of depressing, but at least we didn't get shut out. Next up, we have a huge game against number four, Auburn, 5-0. and oh. This is a team that's on paper is way more talented than we are, and same with Georgia the following week. The tough thing is we have to win one of these if we want to be ball eligible. We have to win at least one, and then the goal would be to win all four of these right here after the bye week. Not that the bye week is going to do a whole lot for us. So, if you're not subscribed, consider doing so. And join me back next week when we play a very tough Auburn team. Maybe it ends up in our favor, but maybe it doesn't. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>